Leo. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Welcome to another Leo Tarot reading. Leo, love tarot reading. Leo, love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Leo love messages reading, channeled love messages from your person. Their feelings for you, your feelings for them. Who's making what move, if any? What's going on in the connection? What and who is coming through? Let's take a look at the energy, Leo. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands here. Commitment energy. Offer. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Mercury energy. The Earth energy. Commitment energy. Someone wanting more. Someone wanting to restart. Let's see because... Well, the Knight of Wands is your energy, Leo. Somebody's definitely getting the urge to move. This is moving with a pentacle, the commitment, the relationship. And it's, well, yeah, it's moving pretty fast here. This is the inspiration to move. There is a rainbow here within our Knight of Wands energy. That's a really hopeful energy. And I like that because that's also the energy of the chakra. Somebody who <laughs> is realigning here. I was about to put it here, but I heard, no, it's not the overall energy. But it is your first card wanting to come down. It's, so it's staying here in the reading. Yeah, somebody is definitely getting this inspiration to come in here. Matters of the heart. And you're in that energy. I want to show you what is going on here. I just want to remind you, Leo, that all your readings, you can reach them down below in the description. The playlists are really easy to get to. You can find all 12 zodiac signs, actually. Love readings. You'll also find all signs. Tarot readings. These are collective love readings. Love readings for the collective if you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth twin flame readings. Specifically for twin flames, I take some pretty deep dives there and a lot more. So feel free to explore the playlist if you're inspired to do so. I'm channeling for you in June, June 2024. But what I wanted to say, and I'm tongue-tied, we are one day really from July. You could be here in June. You could be here in July, Leo. You could also be here months and years later because you're here when you're meant to be here. It's a timeless reading. So welcome again. Let's see what else is coming in here. It's the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. What happens when that Knight on the move with that Pentacle brings it here with the Nine? That's getting us into the Ten of Pentacles. Were you in a long-term commitment? Were you building it? Was it on the table? This is somebody clearly with... Offers on their mind. That night on the move and our nine of pentacles here, things coming, literally coming to fruition. Virgo and Mercury energy. What is on their mind? What details? What, what needs to happen here? It's somebody coming back in. If you were sharing a dwelling or there is an energy of seeing each other, it's like coming, like you can see them coming back. But that's also the energy. And it's coming here with the Ace of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the emotions, the love, the timing. What they also have here in this cup, look, is a dove. They come in pairs. There is a, well, it's a lovey-dovey energy. It's the Ace of Cups. So there is a proposal energy here. Could this be a marriage? Wow, I just stuttered. Could this be a marriage proposal? I, I want to tell you, it might be for somebody. My throat chakra is going kind of wild. It's, it's feeling like a fiery energy here. I mean, this fire sign, <laughs> but the energy is here. It's, it's a passionate energy. I think there might be some intense energy. I'm feeling some intense energy between you, and I'm also feeling a little breathless. So that is kind of, that's the fiery energy, but it's like a fire. You know, it's like the smoke, smoke signals, connection. Also, breathless, trying to communicate, like get out some words. 
stuttering. I just stuttered. Yeah, could it be a marriage proposal? Maybe. Let's go in. Proposals are new beginnings. It can be talking again, seeing each other again, maybe for the first time for some of you. Going exclusive, next level, moving in. That's an energy that's strong. Marriage, just commitment. What is it? Because the Ace of Cups, you know, this is, they're full of all kinds of love here. Lots of feelings for you, overflowing. They also have some humility and some apologetic energy here with our dove, a, kind of like a an olive branch, a, make, <laughs> a making peace energy. So what has gone on here in the connection? Look what is back. And look, there's more. Okay, so there's more coming in. This is how it's this is how it's going. Oh my gosh, I heard that song. This is how you do it, do it. What is that song? It's so silly. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Somebody here has a sense of humor. Leo, <laughs> I think you have a great sense of humor. Is your two of you together? This is a lighter, it's a lighter energy than what things have been. Look. Where your person's energy is the strongest, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. It's coming back in energy. This is somebody who hurt you. Which foot are you? You know, there's hurt hurt people here. Hurt people, hurt people. Okay. Because that's the one with the big toe coming out. And that's the, that's the worst. It's very hurtful. We have another one here too. You know, socks, they come in a pair. Sometimes one of them, the holes get too big, right? And you throw it out and there's no longer a matching pair. I mean, that's really the energy here. A pair of socks, they have holes in them, there's hurt. But the thing about this energy is they're both still here. The pair is here. But this is somebody who really hurt you. I think this might be you who's coming back in. This is a reversal energy. So again, in that Knight of Pentacles, really strong validation if there's a coming home, home energy. But it's still coming back together, you know? And yeah, that's what that is, getting out of conflicting energy, communicating, connecting. Also just the energy of the fifth chakra with communication. Change, something did change here. This is the five of, of pentacles is Mercury and Taurus energy. And it is a card of loss, you know, and it's around the separation, it's their worry, it's not communicating. They're coming back in here wanting to reconnect, wanting to be honest, wanting to tell the truth. So there's some lack, look at this, there's some lack of confidence in that energy coming in. Ace of Pentacles coming in, or excuse me, coming in the upright. Look, the Nine of Pentacles is back. The Six of Wands is here in reverse. This is the communication. So this is also why the, you know, why the, I gotta move this here, why the stuttering was going on. Look what's, what's, what's happening here. King of Wands, excuse me, King of Pentacles, King of Swords. Nine of Pentacles is back, so is the Ace of Pentacles. This is somebody who wants to, this is somebody with an offer. This is somebody with, with the truth, with an offer. They want to communicate with you. Yeah, let's see where this is going because this, the kind of stuttering energy, a little bit of heavy energy in that I feel like this person, it's almost like lifting up the feet that they're kind of heavy. So that's a sign for me that it could be somebody that is at a distance and it's kind of hard to move in terms of actual travel. Could be other reasons why things making these shoes so heavy. But also just around the fear because there is a little bit of lack of confidence. And that's, that's the stuttering energy, the Six of Wands, Jupiter, and this is your energy, Leo. And it's in reverse because it's somebody who has, a, there's a little bit of lack of confidence and it's around the commitment. Look, the Knight of Pentacles came back. It's here with the Ace of Pentacles. This is clearly what's on their mind, next level. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. This is next level energy here. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Caddy corner here with the Knight of Wands that wanted to stay in. So this is like getting over their fear, getting over perhaps literal like reasons to not move, like this heavy foot energy that I'm feeling. They say you vote with your feet in Ireland. So that's also an energy of just, yeah, of fear dragging their feet because they're so heavy, if you know what I mean. That's what I'm, uh, that's the energy that's coming in. 
like dragging their feet, delay, fear. And again, it could be other reasons for that because this is getting over those challenges and obstacles. So fear, getting over their fear for sure, lack of confidence, and could there be other things? This is somebody who's who wants commitment with you, whether you were in a committed relationship, you were you were like together building a relationship together, or it was on the table. So even just putting it back on the table as a possibility is what is on this person's mind. It's really strong. You literally see it here in a race of pentacles. There's the move with it in the night. And here it is coming also with the queen of swords, the truth. The Queen of Swords, Libra, ruled by Venus energy here. It's the sword. It's communication. It's clarity in your relationship. It's the truth. It's information. It's, it's all of this. And it's connecting to the Nine of Pentacles. So getting this inspiration, you know, it's delayed. Here on the move with the Knight and coming here to the Nine of Pentacles. Getting us into that Ten of Pentacles. And look what's here. Look, I mean, really, actually, the Knight is coming and giving it to the King. King is handing it off here, getting us into a new cycle. King of Pentacles, Virgo ruled by Mercury energy. And by the way, did I show you that already? The Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. We're going to gonna continue here in just a moment. But it's coming here with the King of Swords on top of it. So Virgo ruled by Mercury energy, some details for sure. But this King knows what they want. They know where they, what, they know what they want. They know how, they know the next move they're going to make. It's the king. It's like mastered it. So we're not just thinking about it. We're not just giving it, moving kind of, you know, not really maybe clear of the path, although this path is pretty clear right here to the king of pentacles. But just to be sure, handing it here to, excuse me, the nine of pentacles, handing it here to our king, developing something more, going back in and reconnecting or just putting it on the table here it's strong and it's coming in with the king of swords gemini and mercury energy they have been thinking about this for a while and i do feel there's some strategy here so if there's a coming back into a home energy there's some energy around that if you can see this person maybe even at something like literal there's an event coming up something that's you know, a concert a whatever you know, just getting getting their ducks in a row kind of energy. Because this is the strategy around this. Somebody here, this energy of leading, of course, also coming here with the King of Pentacles. And yeah, you know, this is Virgo energy. A, a mutable sign, <laughs> you know, likes some change here. Likes is kind of like see, getting a different perspective, trying to figure out how they could make this happen there is that stuttering energy so it's both around what happened what what they're gonna you know there's definitely some truth and some apologies here i mean you can't miss those holy socks you know but they've been planning it that's the thing and this is mercury energy the planet of the mind the planet of communication there's our sword of course the throat chakra clarity communication, truth, and this is the thing here too. Look, you're both here. So that's the other thing. So this is a balanced energy around the person who's coming in here, both with the divine feminine energy and the queen of swords and the divine masculine energy of the king of swords. This is the, this is literal here in the sense that they're getting their ducks in a row. They're getting clear. They're, they're figuring out how to make this happen, how to communicate maybe where for some of you it's also telling me that you're both here and that this is a conversation that is going to happen leo and this is what is on their mind here the king of pentacles mercury oftentimes is connected to reading and yeah so that i know what that is that state but this is also yours it's the page of cups Mercury is often, why is this so hard to get out? I know it's yours. I want to, I want to see what that is because energy is kind of like, you have to work for it. So, <laughs> to keep trying to say is Mercury is oftentimes around, look, it's the page of swords. Yeah, making their move, holding on to the truth, 
making plans. If you're connected via social media, they're looking. Via friends and family, they're talking. They might even be strategizing, you know, help what to say or if it's in person, whatever the case is. But Mercury is often connected to reading and writing, SMS, social media, email. You know, how, how does that resonate for you? So that's definitely a strong possibility. But if you can see this person, look, it's the Empress. If you can see this person, Leo, that's probably how this is going down. The Three of Pentacles coming together. Okay, our Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. Here's more of the delay. The Three of Wands in reverse. The Two of Pentacles. The... Ace of Swords is in reverse, so there's definitely delays here, but look, perspective, somebody getting some perspective. So that's both bringing in hangman energy. This is also higher self energy. It's getting out of their head. This is actually upwriting the Ace of Swords energy. Isn't that interesting? Because this person has been in their head. This is somebody who yeah, may have not been honest with you, but I also just feel like, yeah, they haven't, yeah, <laughs> they haven't been honest with themselves as well. It's around the energy, it's around your relationship, of course, the commitment energy. And it's also somebody I feel like, Leo, who hasn't been emotionally honest and available, like not opening up, really in their head. And this is the energy currently here, perspective, divine number, divine timing, communication. Rising above conflicting energy, getting out literally here of this Ace of Swords and reverse energy, which is a pretty blocked energy. And, you know, it's it's like the little, it's like my, my protege for, for Archangel Gabriel in Judgment. It's somebody who's been, yeah, getting out of their head and has been holding back their feelings. Judgment, of course, is connected to the crown chakra, I know, and it's, like the protege coming in here, giving us some of that energy. And Archangel Gabriel connected to the sacral chakra, I feel, as well as the third eye chakra, I see. So definitely they haven't been, but here they are getting their perspective of how they feel and what they want. And that's just been really clear. They're kind of holding on to that now. There is apologetic energy. They are definitely wanting to come together and communicate. There's our three of pentacles as well the Empress. So coming in here with that, yeah, so that's where that's wanting to go. Coming in here with the emotional honesty, with the healing energy, speaking the truth about how they feel, the emotional availability and a super strong validation of what the person that's coming through here today wants. This long-term energy. A lot of you are already in a long-term commitment, maybe even living with this person, maybe even some of you having children, you know, having even a legal contract. It's definitely what they're coming in here with. So what does that mean for you? Were you there? Were you building it? Was it on the table? It's back on the table. And if it's including next level energy in the way of blending families or bringing in life, you could say children, that's also here. So here's getting out of their head and getting this perspective. Literally, here, getting out of the indecisive energy, rising above all the clouded, the clouds, like the indecision here, the blocked intuition, which has also been going on, I feel, and bad decisions that they made. So also getting perspective here. Again, connecting us with, with the judgment energy of, yeah, Get, get clarity, make a decision. What do you want? What are you doing? This is somebody who wants reconciliation. What does that mean for you? Is that just to talk again, to put it back on the table? Is it to see each other? I just, I really do feel that it's going to be different for everybody. So that page of cups we saw coming in. And yeah, I'm kind of feeling like it's kind of actually, you're going to be like, what are you doing? <laughs> It's just how it goes. This is where it wants to be. So this is both hard on their sleeve energy. It's trying to figure out how to come in. It's the page of cups. You know, it's the cup. It's the, the love, the ace of cups. Didn't we see that? I think we did. Yeah. 
It's the apology, it's the emotions, it's the feelings, it's the proposal. So again, that stuttering energy, this could be someone who's trying to figure out how to ask you about, and yeah, proposal energy could be around marriage. You know, it's not really incredibly strong around that, but it, it keeps coming up, so I know it's for somebody. But that's also, you know, let's talk or let's meet up. Next level, big time. A little bit of fear, but trying to figure it out. Our starfish, you know, an infinite possibilities energy, but also making something work that was not working. But the, the potential in it, just even you pick up that seashell, you know, it's like something else when you put it up to your ear. It, lo it looks like this, but underneath it, there's a lot more there. And that's also that energy of the, of the page energy of just trying to figure it out like a student. We know getting out of, getting perspective, getting out of that stuck mental energy and the five of pentacles in reverse, coming in here, wanting, coming back in, in an open way, wanting to work this out. So the delay is really strong. And I almost feel like the two of pentacles was in reverse, but maybe it wasn't. In any case, this is the decision around it. Capricorn and Saturn energy. And it came out here with our queen of, I think it was kind of here though, our queen of pentacles in reverse, as well as the two of wands in reverse. I think I called that the three of wands. In any case, this is Capricorn and Saturn energy as well. And it's a reversal energy. So there's an insecure energy around this. It's kind of like, it could be that somebody here is, there's a move going on and somebody's afraid to make that literal move. It's also the move, a fear around commitment, okay? So they can be not just balancing out love and work, but it feels more like commitment energy, fear of commitment energy, because, you know, making a choice here and weighing out some options, both how to do this, because there's some ins insecurity around this person, because that's your pentacle. And there's one, a pentacle that's yours here as well. And the two of pentacles, it's a decision. And it's been delayed, two of wands in reverse. It's what you've been waiting for. Mars and Aries energy. It's, it's a small delay, though. You know, it's kind of like I feel like they've already made the choice. So what exactly is that? Are we looking at the fear of next level and they're just trying to get the confidence here for that? Are we looking at marriage? For some of you, yeah, we're coming back into it. But again, it's really going to be subjective because it could still be a really big deal for you if it's let's talk again or let's see each other or move in or let's go exclusive, you know? So it's that choice, which I, I do feel is already been made it's just a matter of coming now then the two of wands you know the reversal energy this is mars and there is a completion energy around that so we already know it's not over the cycle even is not over yet it's yeah it's delayed for lack of a <laughs> better word but it's getting it's coming to an end and by the way that decision here making that decision it's also a validation because look what's coming here right after it's the Three of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles. And that's coming together. And that's working things out. It's finding a way. Coming together and rebuilding communication. It's a teamwork energy. It's collaborative. You know, so it's also saying, yeah, some things need to still be worked out. So yeah, it's a delay in getting out of the cycle. But it's a short delay. It's not... It's a short delay at this point, I want to say. And the Five of Cups is the last, the last card coming in here. But before I talk about it, I just wanted to say here with our Three of Pentacles, Mars, the Mars and Capricorn energy, how, how things, how you do things, you know, the beginning and the end, taking an action here, the completion energy. So this is like, okay, the decision and then coming out of the no contact no communication at the very least, coming here with the truth and coming here again with the nine of pentacles. So in, in literal sense here in, in the card today, you can see them actually coming in. There is an energy of the house energy for some of you. It, it's just not for everybody, but it is here. If there's like a dwelling, you know, if you were living together. So 
something I wanted to say to you too. There's a lot of energy here of, of threes and it's like things could go really any way. That's also an energy of kind of let's see where this can go. Things unfolding. Like things are unfolding. It's like the, the plot thickens kind of energy. Like something's changing. We have our five of cups here for the last tarot coming in. It's Mars and Scorpio energy. So yeah, this is somebody who is feeling a lot of regret for leaving you, leaving you feeling unloved, like they didn't love you, for abandoning the connection in particular emotionally here. You can see the tears. The window is clouded. The window, you can't really see through it. There's a lot of emotional energy here with the Five of Cups. It's, it's what that is. And this is getting, this is where they are now. Also here though, sort of, you could say like in their mind, getting perspective coming out because the clouds, you know, the rain and the storms getting up here, getting out of this conflicting energy because their thought, their thinking process is that they regret how they left things, how they handled things. They're missing you. And there is an apology here. They're sorry for leaving you the way they did and leaving you in particular feeling like they didn't love you. Not being emotionally honest emotionally available leaving yeah leaving you feeling like you weren't loved not opening up because that is what they're doing here it's what they're trying to do here something wanting to show yeah wow okay look at that so just wanted to reveal the seven of swords in reverse the runner not being clear not being honest coming back in aquarius and uranus energy making amends energy and it came here with the eight of wands in reverse that's the delay it's a communication sagittarius and mercury energy you know it's whether it's in person sms social media call whatever it's just telling us that it's there's a delay around it we know they're holding on to it here look what i wanted to say in the ten of cups is here what i wanted to say is this monarch butterfly you know they they wait for storms to pass they don't go out during storms because it damages their wings and could be could be worse. So they wait, we wait for the clouds to clear. Look at this. It's like, here we go. Up here, maybe taking the monarch butterfly with them, you know, getting out of the, getting out of that energy, getting out of their head, clearing up their head, getting a new perspective, waiting a certain amount of time as well. So yeah, it has been delayed. I mean, that much is really clear. The Ten of Cups is their last tarot that's coming through. You know, it, it wanted to be revealed. Had you built a life together? Were you building it? Was it on the table? It's definitely back on the table here. It's definitely back on the table, Mars and Pisces energy. They have a lot of hope for this. A new cycle. So whether this is life, again, legal contracts are not moving in, children already, or it's putting it back on the table, perhaps blending families, introducing families are going exclusive. And again, marriage. It is, it is coming through for me. In particular with the Ace of Cups, it doesn't always bring that in. And it's bringing in a lot here, but for some of you that is on the table. And that's what I was trying to say is whatever the case is around it, it is here. And this is definitely what the person has on their mind here, Leo. So I want to bring in some channeled... Whoa, okay. So there's some that's already, that are already coming in here. Some channeled t Oracle. <laughs> I was going to say tarot. No? Okay, that's it. Some channeled Oracle and... I'm not reading it in reverse. Look at what's at the bottom of the deck wanting to reveal divine timing. Yeah, it's divine energy here. Divine timing, literally. I, I don't even feel like I need to say more, but I'm going to put it here with the divine feminine energy and the divine timing energy of our Empress. Hello. That camera makes me crazy. <laughs> you didn't miss anything. I just picked up the divine timing energy. That was already here. Right below, you can see it's right on the money at three o'clock. That's a divine number. And it is around, yeah, somebody's ready, somebody's not, somebody's available, somebody's not, when it's meant to be energy. Because up here, you can see this one is just past three o'clock. 
This one is long before. It's like too soon, too late, right before, right when it's supposed to be. So things happening when they're meant to be in this connection, the soul connection, the divine connection, it's strong. Gift, transition, magic. It's bringing in the magician energy, soulmate, and faith. Having hope, having faith that, that things will line up when they're meant to, that there will be a reconciliation, a renewal here. Lots of hope around this person. This is connecting us to the star energy, Aquarius and Uranus energy. When we have our soulmates, look, right here on the moon, the emotions, a full moon, they're revealing here. So definitely somebody, the person who's coming through here, understanding the connection, getting their perspective. And by the way, that is also bringing in the hangman energy, the Pisces energy of somebody who is trying to get out of their ego and shadow because there have been some power struggles. This person has been indecisive. We know that. This person has not really been making moves. So this is them coming in. It's a paradigm shift, like really different. And that's the other thing. Look, the transitional energy. Second chance. And look what is here. There's a love note. It has a heart on it. A connection here with our stag, a spiritual connection. They, they come around you like when you need them. It's really interesting. So that's the message coming in. It's the, the energy of what's changing right now. And there's a second chance energy there. And look, what is this gift? What are they bringing in? It came here with the magic card, which is connecting with the magician card. Here's the butterfly energy again. There's also the world here. But the Magician energy, Gemini and Virgo, Mercury, again, what are, what, what have they been thinking about? What visions do they want to turn into reality here? What kind of action are they taking? What inspired action? Because that came through in our Knight of Wands and it came back, it wanted to stay here. You know, it, it came back, it wanted to stay here. So yeah, somebody's taking this inspired action. It's just really clear. And the magician is connected both to the solar plexus chakra I do and the throat chakra I speak. It's manifesting soulmate energy, you, here. This is somebody who knows who's, who's getting big time perspective, who knows what they want. Whatever that means in terms of the steps you can take and exactly where the two of you are heading, that's between the two of you. But I can see what's on their mind here in taking this action. And the thing also about this ma magic energy, this magician energy, is that's the alchemizing energy. So being able to work things out. This past energy here, this person taking responsibility, apologizing. Any details that you need to work out together and decisions that need to get made. And even the reaching out energy coming here with the magic, the gift. Three butterflies, divine number. Butterflies, transitional energy. Dark to light, coming out of this, the sad energy too. And revealing truths, revealing feelings, revealing plans, hopes, dreams. Literally here, together on the moon. Connected here to the star energy. Look at this. Faded connection, stars aligning, future, possibility, seeing it, and making some contact to get closer to it. There's writing on the wrist. So that's also communication coming in. And we know that there's a little bit of lack of confidence here. It's been strong. But we also know that's it's just really clear how things how things eventually are going to go down. <laughs> for lack of a better phrase. Okay, that should that's flipped over. Look, I'm so I am so sorry. Five of Cups upright, seven of swords in reverse. Also the delay. I mean this is clear. This is clear. Somebody who has been also in, insecure around the commitment, also emotion. So it could again be something around that's going on in their life. But just the commitment as well, the fear, the emotional energy. 
It's like not feeling good enough energy as well. Okay. Channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. What do you want to say to your Leo? Please forgive me. I am so sorry. Look, I stay awake up, I stay up all night thinking of you. I wanted to say to you too, look, this nocturnal energy going into the morning, like star energy, getting um, hope, getting clarity, having hopes for renewal, understanding the connection, fate, and destiny, and literally staying awake here. That's really strong. I want to grow old with you. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, of course, coming in here twice. Working it out. Three of Pentacles, the Empress, the Nine of Pentacles, getting us into the Ten. The King of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. This is pretty clear. Where things, what is on their mind for the future. My stomach drops when I awake and realize you're still gone. So whether, again, that's around an actual dwelling or house, it's not for everybody, but I know it is for some of you. It's still around waking up. It's like the literal wake-up energy, too. And I'm always rereading our messages. That's also the Eight of Wands in reverse. It's kind of like, yeah, it's more of the, it's like frustration here and reading them and some of the things they said, some of the things they didn't say, and what they still want to say. When something good happens, I, I immediately want to write you. <laughs> That's exactly the message that was coming in. You're still on my mind every single day. King of Pentacles, King of Swords, Ten of Cups, the Empress. Even the Page of Swords and the Page of Cups here, both connected. You know, some immature energy around that. It could be age. It's not for everybody. It's also just connecting to the emotional, possibly immaturity just in this case, or maybe always, unavailability, not opening up, not speaking the truth around it. Because we know that they were blocked, and this is what they're getting, this perspective. And even with this soulmate energy wanting to be there, understanding the connection, too. I'm getting it together, <laughs> so you can be mine. Yeah, this is really strong. Leo, if this is your, if you're feeling connected to this reading today, the love tarot that came out today, if you're watching it in real time, is, I'm, I think it might be yours. Pretty sure, actually. If you're not here in real time, it's the date, today's date, which is actually June 30th, 2024. So if you're here many months, weeks, even months, years later, the All Signs Tarot reading, the Love Tarot reading in that playlist that's also been released today is going to be yours. If this is, if you're feeling this is yours, I'm going to point to it too, just in case. So maybe that makes it easier. It's right here. Okay, <laughs> I always feel funny doing that. The Tarot Closet Love Messages. Messages from their higher self. I feel your energy. I will never give up on us. Don't give up on us. You are the love of my life. Leo, here with perspective, here with soulmate. Caddy corner with divine timing and faith and hope, renewal, connecting to the star energy here as well. My world is dark without you. Literally, too, in the night. There's that, that energy is definitely here. But, yeah, in general, I'm sending you telepathic messages and this is connecting to the apology here. Please forgive me. I am so sorry I was scared. And that's a lot of the energy of the Five of Cups here, how they left things. Could be that somebody, that this was a ghosting or just the way they pulled away emotionally. In particular, it's really, I feel like it's real specific for some of you. They were, so that's an acknowledgement. They regret it, but they were scared. The Tarot Closet channeled. Love messages, messages from their higher self, and they have a lot to say here. <laughs> I play songs that remind me of you. So listening to music to connect with you, this is real. 
putting this with divine timing. Do you miss me too? I'm sorry. Here with, I am so sorry, please forgive me, I was scared. This wants to go here. I want to be honest. Queen of Swords, King of Swords, both the balanced energy and communication, getting out of the conflicting energy with perspective, and what they want to say, the communication, the honesty here, and the conversation, the message, however that is for you. However it's going down, I want to say. I took you for granted. So also here, please forgive me. Do you still love me? You are the love of my life. Do you still love me? We were destined to meet, Leo. Fate and destiny. Controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. Understanding the connection, a deep soulmate connection. Destiny's intertwined energy. A lot, a lot of wake up energy there in that perspective. These are the last two and they're connected. I made so many mistakes. Again, I am so sorry. I took you for granted. Please forgive me, I was scared. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self. Here we go. I love you. I love you, Leo. I love you. Boy, I'm feeling that. It's making me want to cry. I love you. Do you still love me? I hope you can see that. I feel like it's not clear. The message is, though. So forget the camera. I love you. Do you still love me? You are the love of my life there. Leo, that's your reading today. Thank you for joining me. I sure appreciate you. Please don't forget to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not, so you know when readings are coming. I'm sending you love as always, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then.